Hi everyone. Um, so what you see here is I'm digging a hole because I need to place this anchor, this device into the ground. I have to dig a hole, which is like a three feet and a half to put this device, put this anchor on the ground like this because I need to tie and secure the tiny house because a hurricane is coming. So since the house is tall, it's about like a, a 12 feet tall. So, and then I don't want to take the risk uh, that the wind uh, picked over the house and destroyed, you know, the tiny house. So, um, so the hurricane is coming. So it's not for sure that it's gonna hit, you know, uh, um here in this land but it's gonna be by the coast because we are about one hour and a half from the coast but uh, we have to prepare for the strong wind so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna uh, place this here so um because the the terrain is more clay is no sandy uh, uh, terrain like uh, in other parts in florida so uh, the best way for me is to dig a hole with this stuff that I've been using instead of like, um, you know, like uh, twisted. So this is the same thing that I'm gonna do in the others in the front. All right, I have finished uh, digging the hole and now I'm gonna uh, put the anchor in the hole. So uh, I think the length of this is three feet and a half. So I'm gonna put it there like this and then I'm gonna leave this part out because I'm gonna use this ratchet with the straps and then I'm gonna tighten it around in order to uh, tighten it here to the tiny house and then cross the rest to the other side. This is clay uh there with some uh, little stones that is gonna be very tight at the same time i'm gonna use like a metal bar to push it down uh to make it more firm okay so i'm gonna use this one to just you know in they're gonna, you know, put more like this. And it's gonna be very secure, very tight. Okay, I'm gonna keep doing this, put in more dirt, and then gonna push the dirt down little by little around to make it more firm, all right? All right, I'm gonna place this block under the, the tiny house trailer in order to keep um, the, the tiny house um, you know like a, a rest on the block so um, because I need to secure um, the tiny house like a beam in how you say a level and support so because when the wind move the tiny house um, it's gonna pretty much rest uh, on the bricks. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. All right. All right. So since there is a gap here, I'm gonna put some, uh, um, lumber to just uh, fill it up with that all right okay it seems like i just need one
Okay, I'm going to uh, put the strap around the anchor. So since the hook is bigger than the holes in the anchor, and then um, even that it was bigger, I wouldn't put it like that because I rather, instead of, you know, put it like this with a hole with a hook, I rather just wrap it around and then I rather to make like a tiny like this. So the reason that I want to do it like that is because if any case the wind release a little bit um, the strap, the strap is not gonna fall off from from the anchor. So I'd rather to do it like this. So and then since here I have like a how they call like a this type of uh, like a let's see like a ring or something so I'm gonna cross the whole strap through the hole like this all right okay I'm gonna make it more straight like this okay all right so and then i'm gonna cross the strap and the, the trailer and then i'm gonna cross it through the tongue here and then gonna tie it with the other anchor in the other side so i'm gonna show you closer how it's gonna it's gonna be okay all right this is the tongue and then as you can see it has a metal kind of ring so in order to in order to support the strap I'm gonna cross it all of it through this okay so in this way I'm gonna avoid the strap you know move under the, the trailer all right so and then there is another here in this side as well so just I'm gonna put it through as well okay all right okay in this side of the tiny house we also have this metal ring or whatever it call <laughs> so uh, and then I'm gonna do the same like I did in the other so I'm gonna just cross it like this all right and then i have the ratchet here so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna um place the this the hook i told you before see this one is short but uh, um so i'm gonna just uh cross it around here and then uh, this is it has a hole here that i'm gonna cross the the, the hook here so, oops, okay, it's kind of a little bit hard to do, oops, better, okay, all right, all right, perfect, so, I'm tying it, it's not gonna go anywhere, so now I'm gonna connect the strap to the ratchet, and then I'm gonna start tying it, all right, so I'm gonna put the strap through the ratchet here, all right. Okay. Oh, okay. And then I'm gonna just tighten it. All right. All right. Then I'm gonna start tying it. So you see. It's getting more tense. Okay. So it seems like it's very strong to be honest. So uh, I rather not to put it too tight because it produces a lot of stress in the strap. 
and then um, I think it's safe. This is uh, this uh, ratchet support about uh, three thousand pounds, and each one. So it's gonna be two of this, which is uh, uh, it's gonna be one in on this side and the other in the other side. When I sew all of them, I'm gonna show you how it looks like and how secure the tiny house um, is gonna be, okay? That's perfect. That's very, very strong. This tiny and more, I think that's gonna be enough. I'm so happy. It takes a lot of time to dig those holes because as I told you at the beginning, the, uh, the soil here or uh, the terrain is clay, so it's too hard to dig it. Um, but I, you know, so, but I finally am so happy that I did it in this way and using this type of um, uh, anchors that is, the, are very long so it's three feet and a half I mean three feet and a half which is pretty much very deep so I don't think uh, any wind is gonna dig it out <laughs> all right I'm so happy and let's see what happened okay all right so this is the the four um anchor because um i already uh, saw the the other three so what i'm going to, um what i'm doing right now is to to the dirt the dirt back to the hole and then and i pound in the dirt with this metal bar to press the dirt in the hole and secure the anchor. It's very secure. So this one, um, you see that it's a little out. I couldn't put it uh, deeper because uh, when I was digging the hole, I found a huge rock uh, underneath. So I couldn't break it. So, and then I decided to just leave it like that. So anyway, because the battery, it have to be here pretty much in this spot close to the tiny house. And then in the future, I'm gonna build a mini house for the battery, which have to be placed near to the tiny house. And then also have to be placed here because all the wire connection are here. So to avoid any danger or hazard or whatever, the people or the animals sit over here with this. So the battery is gonna be close to this one to avoid any any damage to or uh, accident and injury or whatever. So now that I'm finished putting the dirt back and pound it, I'm gonna um, uh, put the, the, the ratchet uh, with the straps uh, crossing underneath or no under the trailer to this uh ring and then before to do that i have to since the jack is here i'm gonna place the the blocks first to support the tiny house and then uh, after that i'm gonna remove the jack and then i'm gonna put the strap so that's the next step all right okay i already sold the four anchors um in, in the ground so this is uh, the as you can see it in the in the beginning the other anchors are um, in the other side of the tiny house and this one are the other two anchors in the second the second strap so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna tie the strap up here in this anchor by this right instead of you know putting the hook there okay and then I already pass it through this um like a metal ring which is uh 
a part of the frame in the trailer. So I'm then gonna go through here and then the strap is gonna go all the way under the trailer. And then I'm gonna show you how um, to tie in it with the, with the ratchet. So I'm gonna leave it just like that for now. Let me just, you know, put a little more straight. So it's gonna be, it looks better. <laughs> okay, so it's gonna be, you know, very secure. So they're gonna use the, the ratchet in the other side, okay? You know, the strap is all the way under the trailer. And then I'm gonna, well, I pass it through this uh, metal ring which is part of the frame, uh, the trailer frame. And then I'm gonna, you know, pull it. Okay. I'm gonna pull it like this. And then I have to place the, the, the ratchet here. This one support 3,000 pounds. Uh, and then I'm gonna just, uh, Put it around this one with this. Let me just. This is the opposite to the other. <laughs> this is being placed deeper. But anyway, I'm gonna pass the strap here, or I mean the hook here. Okay, let me see. Doing this way. I mean, it's gonna be a little hard, but uh, anyway, because. Okay, I don't wanna use the hook. I'd rather just do it like a tiny here. Finally, I pass through the, I mean the hook through the, to the strap, you know, to make it more secure. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna put this through this mechanism. And pull it. All right. So I pull it. All right. And then I start doing this. Okay. You see the tension that is creating. So. Okay. Okay. All right. It's perfect. And then I'm gonna cross this strap through this hole to make it nicer. Right here. Okay, perfect. All right, I'm gonna show you around how the tiny house is secure uh, with the anchors and the straps. So it came out really good. Now I feel more confident for the wind, the hurricane, the storm, whatever comes here in the area. So the house is not gonna tick over. All right, so I'm gonna show you around how it came out. I'm so happy to be honest and feel very confident. Okay guys, I'm gonna show you how I anchored the house or the tiny house. So as you can see, it has uh, some um, straps and uh, with the two ratchets here. So um, because the hurricane is coming this week, is uh, in like in three days so since the tiny house is not secure to the ground and then uh, I want to protect the tiny house uh, from the wind uh, to uh, you know to avoid to the wind tipped over the house the terrain here is clay it's not sandy so it was very hard to uh, to dig the the holes but finally I did it and I'm so happy. Okay, uh, and then I 
uh, fill it up we you know with the uh, with the same clay uh, soil and then I pound it hard and then to make it very secure the anchor is very very secure so um, the straps of the ratchet support 3,000 pounds so I'm gonna show you closer how it is how it came out so it's like this as you can see so this strap go under the uh, the tiny house to the other side where the other anchor is so also to secure the strap you know to avoid you know the strap moves under so I also cross the the strap to the tongue because they have two rings of uh, two uh, metal rings and I've just uh, pass it through them and then it came out here in this um, anchor so as you can see it came out really good so and then this is uh, the straps um, in the front so in the front where the houses uh, pull or attach to the truck so in the other side, which is the back, but also is the front, uh, um, the entrance to the tiny house. So here is the other, the, I mean, here is the other uh, anchor. So it came out really good. So I did the same thing, put it here, tying it here to the anchor and then, um, pass it through that metal ring which is a part of the metal frame uh, from the uh, to the trailer and then it go under and straight there under and it it comes out here all right now I feel very confident and then let's see what happened so my next video I'm gonna show you how the tiny house um, passed the test about the wind, the, uh, the storm, the hurricane, and then pretty much I'm gonna just leave it like that after the hurricane passed because in any moment, you know, maybe a suddenly storm, a wind, whatever, so uh, the tiny house is gonna be safe. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you like it. So share my video, give it a like, and subscribe to my channel. All right, bye-bye. Have a nice day.